Hey ladies and gentlemen, got another one for you today. Um, it's called Cops Call. Is this LGBTQ pride good for kids? Woo! We're doing a video on the LGBT. Would you be interested? Actually, I'd really like to get her. Would you be interested in doing an interview? We're talking about the LGBT. Damn. Sweet. First question is, do you think that pride is a place for kids? Uh, yeah. It's not inherently sexual. People like to see it that way, but it's really like... It doesn't have to be something that, you know, you're just, everybody's out here having sex and stuff. No, it's about accepting that, like, other people like other people, and that's fine. Do you think that the... Yeah, I know. That is actually the reason, because we don't know what your intention is. It's not like everybody likes people, yeah. <laughs> we know who likes people. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Pride Festival is a place for children. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's a safe space. Do you think that the Pride Festival is um, a good place to bring children? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I feel like it's the children's, you know, obviously decision to make, but um, to let them be free and open and just to see everything, you know, out in the open, I think it's a really good opportunity for them. How about the way people are dressed? Do you think that that's okay for kids to see? So, for instance, I'm not trying to call you out, but... You're dressed in basically nothing, do you, or you are not dressed in nothing on, on top. So do you think that that's okay for a kid to see? Um, yeah, I'm not doing anything like crazy. I'm not like going up to them and trying to touch them or anything. I'm just like, I'm just existing. In a way. Yeah, I think the problem that many people have with this thing, look, Barcelona, we have boobies everywhere. When my kids go to the beach, boobies everywhere. Boobies walks into the water, they walk outside. I don't think a kid is going to understand walking on a street like that to celebrate yourself it's kind of weird that doesn't mean you're sexualizing it but they're watching you smoke they're watching you drink they're watching you dance they're watching you walking without your clothes don't you think they might try to be impressionable get the attention and do something they don't really understand with other people that's gonna be like hmm finally it's okay to do it outside and finally i can approach them especially if i have an lgbtq flag on myself because it's my time to express myself do you understand that a guy can get close to a kid now putting an lgbtq thing on his shoulder and nobody can say anything until something happens and then oh it's an anecdotal experience we're not gonna talk about it do you see how weird it is What's comfortable for me? You think it's okay for boy, little boys and girls to see boobies? I mean, they're going to probably see them one day. So yeah. really Do you think now's it. the time? Uh, it is... It's not... Mm, I wouldn't, wouldn't know, but like... As long as you're not being weird about it and like shoving it in everybody's face that you're shirtless. If you're just walking around and you're shirtless, nobody really cares. Everybody's going to have their opinion about it, whether they're a kid or not. And kids are going to stare, so do adults. Yeah, and by that logic, that's why we have this transgender woman with gigantic boobies walking at the school, and it's just normal. And that's pros prosthetic. It isn't even real. You see, it's like, I'm not saying you're doing something wrong. I'm just saying you don't understand the slippery slope. So it doesn't really matter. I say this as respectfully as possible. I do think it's wrong the way you're dressed with kids um, around. I think that is insensitive. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I say that as respectful as possible. But I do think the way you're dressed is um, inappropriate for children to be looking at. Uh, I don't think so. Because trying to demonize the naked body is really upsetting because that makes kids feel very uncomfortable with being themselves when they're naked or makes them feel that them being nude or in in less clothing makes them feel like that they're objectively trying to get something like sex or something the the problem isn't that the problem is how people view you you have interesting people in this world it's a harsh truth and we need to protect kids against this harsh truth because some of these men go after boys and girls and it's crazy my father told me once you have to be careful i told him papa i'm a guy nobody's gonna do anything to me he says son there are special people out there and the moment i learned that lesson i remember i was around 11 or 12 i had like a short um short pants i had to go to buy something i was just walking around and the cops told me hey it's dangerous you cannot walk over here i, I can bring you home I'm, I'm a safe person when i saw that and the way the guy smiled at me and when i walked away well, how he looked at the glasses to look at my ass just because at, at a short pants it's hot in curacao that is the moment i realized damn there are special people out there and we need to protect kids against that but when you normalize that 
and they can be LGBTQ walking a specific way on the street. I don't think you understand the danger other than your ideology. That's my point. When your naked body is your natural body, and that is how it is. Say you had a child, I don't know if you do or not, so say you did, um, 10 years old, and he, and he or she came to you and said, I want to have gender reassignment surgery. Would you be accepting um, to change your child's gender at 10? It would be a hard decision. I would be accepting, though. I mean, if that's what you want to do, if you're very confident. Empathy is killing the kids, ladies and gentlemen. And if your child came to you underage, let's say age 12, and said, I don't feel like this gender, I want to be another, would you be accepting of a uh, gender reassignment surgery? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like everybody, I don't care how old you are. Even though the brain's not fully developed, it's still okay. You know, I honestly, I think at 12, 13 years old, you're right on that line of being able to, to make that decision for yourself, but I feel like if you've really thought about it and it's just something that you want to do, go for it. By that knowledge, I know what's going to happen when they really approve this, making it official. I mean, if you just can do that to your body, you can also have funky funky with another person, even if he's not 18 years old. Why not? Because we're already getting in debt for the university. We can make big decisions when we're 18. We can go to war before we are 18 or when we're 18. Not sure about that. But it's it's like, oh, if I can make one big decision, why not the other? And that's how it leads to. If I can remove certain parts, why not the other? Mm, that's kind of interesting. You see where it's going. And a lot of people don't tell the kid. Hey, if you take this, you might not be able to have a baby. You might not be able to have an orgasm. Depending which one you take, you might get a beard. Your voice might change. Um, it will affect your brain because if it stops everything, it's not going to stop the shell. It will stop the inside. Everything will have a specific effect. And they don't talk about that. When you do an operation, there's not one. You have to keep going, going, going. Things might break if you have the plastic pee, -pee for the girls that want to feel like a man. You remove the breast and it says you can just put the prosthetic breast. I'm like, amen. There's always a plan B, which I don't mind if you want to help people. But when I see that every plan B you become richer, I do have a problem with that. Thank you for your time. Excuse me, guys. I'm doing a uh, YouTube series talking about children and the LGBT. Would you be open to talking about it? Not today. Not today? All okay. right. I figured. You can go. You're on private property. This is private property? This, this is, private is property. McDonald's. It's McDonald's and private property. You have a permission from the ownership. So, so I'm, not, I'm not sure why. I, I'm not going to lie. But most of these people, for me, seem like people that never got the attention or the a place to be included and they become included and it's it's a powerful feeling and when whenever i see these people like the guy with the baby they seem really chill soft very mellow or very big i'm not saying all of them but most of them they don't they look like the kid that might be bullied at a school do you see what i'm saying I find it rather weird that some of them might be even supporting something they don't even agree with, but they are part of something. Because most of the people in LGBTQ, they don't belong to a community, and usually they don't really have parents that are agreeable in general, in the whole package. Not all of them, but I think you get what I mean. There's, some, there's a weird disconnect sometimes, and... I don't know, most of the LGBTQ that I meet at least, people that support LGBTQ or whatever, they don't have they usually have a parent they don't get along with. That that is my feeling. That's my anecdotal experience. Property. Will you I will get off, but will you talk to me about like the, the children and what's nope. going on here? Nope. You don't want to talk about it? Thank I won't have any discourse with someone like you. So why? We're gonna get nowhere as a nation if you don't talk to me. Um you can leave. I know oh. I can leave. I'm choosing wait, 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 not wait, wait, wait. to. You need to leave. You're being told to leave. I'm an organizer of this event with the owner's permission that's here. You're not allowed to be on this premises. You need to leave. Okay. Now. Excuse me? Would you would you be interested in taking an interview? I'm just talking to people about the LGBT. No, no. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. Yeah, go off, man. Would you like to <laughs> talk, sir? No, actually, there's some um, LMPD right there waiting for you out there. Okay? Sweet. So you stay here. You stay okay. here. You Sweet. Stay here. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter what my name is. Okay, then great. Then you stay here. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Damn. I'm doing officer. I'm doing all right. Okay. What kind of issues they got going? 
they call the cops people <laughs> oh man it, it, it's so oh there you have mr big over there and uh, behind i hey what's up g they're ready they're ready man uh no see i just want to talk and anyways they were uh they wouldn't talk they told me to leave so anyways i did leave um there i don't know why you guys got called i'm just trying to talk to people i'm conducting You're interviews Manager. It's all on footage too. I mean, you can see it. Um, Are you the manager? I'm the general manager of the store. Okay. They want to okay. Trust okay. Well, he has that right to okay. say. That's fine. You know, That's fine. Okay. I'm just conducting interviews. I do a YouTube channel. I talk to people. Um, nothing's going on. Nothing bad. Yeah. That's fine. Just you know, just keep it peaceful. Okay? Yeah, of course. Shiver me timbers, man. You yeah, you have to talk very nicely. But now you have missed it. I don't know like a younger version of Jackie Chan following, not because he's Asian, but look, he's like, uh, he has Jackie Chan's face a little with the hair also. And I don't know, he's like ready to fight. You really got me. No, get on, on the you really got me. You, you really got me. No, keep going. Excuse me, guys. Do you guys know where the child grooming section is? Oh, okay. Uh, He's, he is going hard. You're not sure? Okay. He is going hard. Okay. So, do you think uh, it's important to bring more more uh, children into the community? To let them be known that it's okay for like to ne let them know that there's a place they can be accepted for sure. Yeah. Can I ask? Uh, are you less like? Can I ask what you identify as? Uh, yeah. Uh, I am a trans. Okay. I just wanted to guess, but she already said it. Trans man trans man yeah so your pronouns are he uh, him yeah he him it sir yeah and do you agree with the fact that sexually you are a woman um biologically yes but that doesn't really mean much to me because i still feel manly regardless of the body i was born in okay. i still feel more like i don't have to prove that i'm like this macho man by doing tip stereotypically masculine things i still like dressing up like really femininely i still like wearing heels i still like wearing dresses but that doesn't mean i'm not a man i still enjoy doing the things that everybody else does i just why i, I don't understand I, I can respect it but if i see a girl like this i wouldn't even call them a tomboy i would say hey, you're a girl that's it let's go have fun i don't care if you want to wear heels or whatever because i don't want to put you in a label because you're gonna grow you're gonna grow out of it anyway with time the main issue that i have with these whole transgender things is trans people are the only ones right now very related on taking medical things in their body that will change them making other people rich and nobody knows about the long lasting effects i don't know anybody that placed in the tool on their body when they're 16, 12 or whatever, and did not really regret it. And imagine you caught your boobies and your pee pee. Just don't care what other people think. Are you gonna go through any like transgender surgeries? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, I do plan on getting top surgery or like, you know, some kind of breast removal and getting on like hormones, yeah. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. Oh, this is great. Why? How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. W one second. I'm trying to do an interview. Excuse me. You look great. I identify as black. Um, would you like to be in an interview? Doing a doing a series on the LGBT. Sure. Okay, sweet. Oh, uh, the the shirt is black for Trumps, right? So everybody's like, well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by you people? So, uh, what's your thoughts on children in the LGBT? I think uh, children should be allowed to be in LGBT because uh, it, where I used to live, I was the only gay kid in the neighborhood and all my friends uh, were uh, able to accept themselves easier because I was out and uh, very queer. If you raise kids... Okay, it, I can understand that. Going to pride festivals, I think they're going to be more gay. Do you agree? Uh, well, I was raised in a church most of my life and here I am. I'm not... That's a good point. That's a very good point that I keep saying to a lot of people. And if you if they were raised in the church, you become whatever you want anyway. So is there a reason to have all this flag and those stuff at the school to convince people, to change people, to show people option, whatever you want to say? I'm like, if you don't identify as something that you place at the class, don't you think a kid is going to be like, hey, I didn't get it. I didn't get the price. You're going to see other kids way happier than you. You're telling me that does not affect the kid? Ladies and gentlemen, I guess you don't understand psychology with time. You really don't. 
You really don't. Because by that knowledge, you can put Christianity and all those things in class so they can choose. You don't allow them to choose. That's my point. Straight or a Christian even. And my all my family is straight. I've had maybe one or two aunts that were part of the community, but everyone else still supported it but never talked about it until I was maybe 16 and I actually figured out that I liked girls and boys. So So your shirt says pan, uh, pansexual I'm assuming. Yes. You want to talk about that? What does pansexual mean to you? I think pansexual is somebody that really has a hard time feeling attracted to anybody else. That's what I heard at least or read. It means liking anybody for just their personality just rather than who they are. Does that include animals? Not really. So you like the personality. I don't know, man. I like my wife for her personality and other stuff. I don't know. It does, but it's like maybe you're not that shallow. Not really, but maybe a little bit because you said really. Maybe a little. I love animals, but I would not be sexually attracted to them at all, mm. no. Do you think it's okay, though, if someone is? If that's what they like, you can, you can argue with it, but at the end of the day, it's their choice, and you can just let them be and just kind of ignore them. If this doesn't make you lose faith in society, I don't know what will. You ask <laughs> if this will make kids gay. It's not. It's just educating them. I'm asking if it's going to bring more people into the community and, in turn, make more children gay. Oh, no, it does not. You, you don't think so? Make more children uh, more likely to come out if they are gay. Yeah, it shows that our community is accepting of people, and then also, not only that, it also shows... Like, it's the same as taking a kid to a straight wedding. Not really. It well, no, that's that's the norm. The that's the norm. Uh, so, like, yeah. in the this guy in the back is on his guard to do something. I would be like, oh, man, he wants to get me. He shows you, a, a you have was the norm. Uh, people, in, people in different dress, you know, like, you know, for example, you're a good example of what, you know, some people wear. And, you know, I just don't think that's necessarily appropriate for children to see, especially when they're a younger age. Well, then what about all the TV shows that people leave on TV? What about all of the actors at award shows that wear even more revealing stuff? That is your conclusion? Good parents don't even let their kids do that. Good parents know they are the iPad for their kids. Just because there are so many sucky parents, lazy parents, you want to create a normalized thing for everybody in such a way? Hey man, I, I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's a problem in society. We're, we're in a very degenerate society. Yeah. We got to fix that. Yeah. And I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. Why are you asking, why are you so pressed about the gays and asking them homophobic questions on our own day? Like, why did you come to Pride? This is a public event, so it I can. Is, but is also, you're also called. You're also not making it very comfortable. This is my first I'm, part of it. That's cool. Um, but you. Let you say is the only safe space he can ask the questions where you feel comfortable enough to respond honestly. Because if you do it on one on one, you might hurt somebody's feelings. That is, somebody you don't even know, or maybe open a podcast and invite somebody. But here you might get more honest opinion from people on the other side. You can send it to the interview. You could leave at any point. I'm not holding you guys back. You guys are just making excuses. We're True. not. We said everything. We answered every question. Okay, but you're trying to make me feel like I did something wrong and I've done nothing because wrong. You, you can send it to the interview. Wrong. Well, you could have left at any point, but you chose to continue to talk to me. Bigoted. You're bigoted in a place of acceptance. Okay, so right here it says free mom hugs. I'm going to ask her if I can have a hug. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a mom hug? Hey, thank you, Mom Hugs. Free Mom Hugs right there. Do you have anything to tell the YouTube channel? Blacks for Trump. Mm. <laughs> Will you still hug me? I did hug you. But would you do it again? Yes. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, you tolerance. I love you. tolerance. Thank you. you have a good day. She was a nice gay woman. Well, that's the end, people. You see how things are. I mean, it's just a little too crazy for me. I'm not, I don't think I would be the Christian that if my son tells me, Papa, I think I'm attracted to boys, I'm not going to be like, you devil, get out of my house. Nah, I won't be happy, happy. Why? Well, I don't know a lot of gay LGBTQ people that stay together for a very long time. My circle, my friends, they are together for a very long time. So I advocate for what made me the most happy to provide the most safest life, you know? without depending on the action of the government. So I won't be super happy, but I won't kick them out of the house because I also think you will feel attracted to anything depending on the circumstances. I think the circumstances around your life can make you love anything, okay? That's why people go to prison sometimes and come out liking things they never thought. 
and they might say, I'm still a hetero, don't call me gay, you know? So, hey man, you do you, just wanted to bring you this stuff. Life is interesting sometimes, take care of your kids, be a good example for them, be consistent to them. I do think that psychological, you can damage your kids way more with weird things around them. I think that leaves a lasting damaging experience. But anyway, that's another video for another story. Hope you guys like the content. Remember to like, share, hit the bell notification. See you guys next time. Peace.